Shiny badges don't grant extra rights. Sir. And I said, no, I have a right okay. to film in public. Okay, no, you don't have the right to film in yeah, public. Yeah, you do have a right to film in public. You're in a public area. Yeah. Officer working here, okay? Yeah. You can do whatever you want. You can film, sir, but when you invite someone to space and show the camera right in your face, literally, you have to have it. We have it on video. We have it on video. So nobody shoved a camera in his face. He stepped up to me and created the distance. I do not create it. He can't decide that he's invading his space from across the street. You have to actually be invited in some space. No, she's threatening anybody. Okay. Wow, way to make up stuff. There we go. We have it on film. So when the call goes out there, we'll see who's stuck up there. And after I explain it. Cops lies matter. Yep. Take care. Exactly. And the right to film. I exercise my right. While we're here, do you guys really oh. believe that there's a war on cops in Las Vegas right now? Anybody like to answer that? I think the community is great. I think we have wonderful relationships with the community, and they support us. Okay, so the, so you don't feel like there's a war on cops? Awesome. I don't know. I'm glad. I don't know. What do you think about all the um, shootings that have happened where cops weren't held accountable? You know, you should ask the d uh, district attorney's office about that. We have. So. <laughs> You don't have an opinion about that? You don't believe that justice should be served for those people? Uh, I think justice should be served to everybody. And I think we do that here. Do you believe badges grants extra rights? Yeah, absolutely not. No. Yeah, absolutely. So when those police were parked in that road right there for your protest, so there was a photo op that was an extra rights or the anything The police like were that? actually parked right there because they stopped a drunk individual here, and then a media van stopped in front of them. That's what those vehicles were here for. And you notice they're not here anymore. So. Right. That's interesting. Hey, could you please explain to me what they mean by the thin blue line? You know, I'm not sure. Well, I didn't coin that phrase. I don't know what it means. Have you ever used it? I have not. Have you ever seen it on police cars? It's on all the shirts. Do you guys know what that means? And it's on the shirts. And it's on all your media stuff for those events. Uh, and you, you have no idea when it's on your own media site. I'm not wearing that. It's not my media site, so... Do you know who, who came up with to put that slogan on the shirts and all the media Man, I stuff? I have no idea. I'm just wondering. That kind of perpetuates stuff, don't you think? I couldn't tell you. I don't even know. Really, do you have a, an opinion on what the thing you want to You have no opinions at all? You should probably introduce yourself. Right there. How about you, ma'am? No opinion? How about the support the police? Do you know what the thin blue line is? Do you like to explain it? Do you know what it means? It's the supporting your officers. Yeah, in a way, yeah. Oh, no. Very good. <laughs> now, during other protests, I've been here. I noticed that the police keep the stairways clean. And that you guys are here. And there were people on the stairway at the time. And you didn't see it. And you didn't see it. I don't see any There's no one on the stairway right now. Right. And you didn't see the people on the stairways earlier. You didn't see them. If you did see them, you would have cleared them off because that's your job. Okay. And you, sir, you would, if there were people playing on the steps, when I've been here and other protests and see people on the steps, you would remove them from those steps. Is that correct?
Criminals are held accountable all the time. Cops are never held accountable. Not one single time in the entire history of the city. I have compassion for people that get murdered by cops for one thing. But we didn't come here to start trouble. People started trouble with us. All we did was walk come down here. Yeah, and be part of this. We were. Does that help? That's work? We just came down here to observe. It has? When in history has that worked? Tell me. Tell me a time. Are you a police officer by any chance? Yeah. So you don't think there's... people here are either police officers, friends or family of police officers that can't support the police today? I do. Does it make you wonder why there's not more citizens down here supporting? I think they might get shot at by some answer. Oh, I, I think... So you're I, saying I, the cops might shoot them? I think yeah. uh, I think it probably didn't get promoted out quite as much uh, in the public. So, kind of a last so let me ask you... I think with the families... Hold on. Mm -hmm. With the families that were uh, joining together, and it started with the Metro Wives Club that initiated this. So it, it was projected to be a family and support of the families to come out in reference to that. So in all honesty, I think that's the reason why you're not seeing a whole lot of uh, citizens or maybe other people that would support us. But you did put it out there and they didn't show up. And can, did, do you know who brought up the thin blue line? Do you guys actually understand that when you don't hold somebody accountable, like people, first of all, they fear you because they know you can murder them and get away with it every single time. And secondly, it creates hostility and it gets people in the community not wanting to work with you guys. Sure. I would agree 100%. Uh, so do you guys, do you, I would do agree you, 100%. Let I me mean, like on your, on a personal level, do you feel that there's a war against cops? All this stuff Personally. they've been, Like all this rhetoric it's that's been going around? It's difficult for me to see, so obviously here's the deal, right? The media's picked up on this, right? And we're seeing a lot of cops shot. Cops do get shot. You know that you know that this year is on pace job. to be one of the safest years ever for cops. For well, you, you, hold on a minute. Some of the safest years for crime in the United States, right? Mm -hmm. so that's that's the truth. 
for it's also the record lowest shot. ever was 2013 and 2015 is on pace to break that for, for police being for police yeah. being shot on duty okay and and uh it, it, so maybe okay. it's I mean, is the media building up a lot mm -hmm. sure um you know if you were a cop and cops were getting killed and that was your profession you'd be concerned about it right except that if it wasn't actually happening well, I, I, I can tell you this, I, I was just out on the last three events you know, that our cops got shot, and I've been out on several, uh, so they do get shot, you know. It, you know how many, it, cops, it have been, it's you know how many cops have been killed by, I mean, not car like accidents in, in Vegas Las Vegas or, in the history of the city since two, 1911 when it was founded? I don't know the exact number shot, but uh, one that have died, yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Um, it's five. That I know of, exactly. It's five and one was off duty okay. and had nothing to do with him being a cop. Well, which one was that? That was the guy who they robbed him while he was working on his car in the, in the garage. In the garage when he came home uh, from work in Nettleton? Yeah. yeah. Well. You know how many cops have been, I mean, how many people have been killed this year by cops? Sure. It's 11. Do you agree with the, with the new system? No. Uh, no, it's a joke. From the old coroner's yeah. inquest or no? The, the coroner's inquest, that they, the reforms that they created were better. It still wasn't good, but it was much better. And once the uh, union tried to do their lawsuit to get it overthrown and they got defeated, they just went in and threw it out and made something that was completely worse. It's a, uh, um, I mean, it's basically a kangaroo court. They, they, they go and tell you why they didn't charge somebody. They don't present evidence they don't do either side of of it is they just put out the police byline you know you it's not that. It's our no system. it's true you know, it's a fact it's our system. It's have you been decided. have you been to one of those yeah mm -hmm. been here a long time and you know, did but, you I, see, but i but i did you, you see, see by talking to you now i'm mm -hmm. i'm not a bad guy what do you think yeah. what do you think well, did you I, see by talking to you now i got you not when I'm pissed off and going against these people. Because that's not what I'm pissed off and going against I know, anybody but it's not, at it's all. Somebody started something with him. Up. I'm sure they that's, would. That's, right? that's well, you know, yeah. Look, let me tell you a little story, you, you right? You get a five job with de-escalating. Of course. This is what I did. This is what I did. This is what I did. Listen, listen. Let me tell you a story one time. Let me tell you a story one time, right? 9-11 just happened. It's the anniversary of 9-11 and the guy's burning an American flag out in front of New York, New York, down here, right? Just causing all kinds of shit. And he gets a whooping, right? You didn't see that coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not whether it's wrong or right, right? But I pretty much, and all of us could have projected and went, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen, right? Well, yeah, there's a good chance if you're doing uh, something, of course flame is. people, they're going to be coming flames. Of course, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. You anyway, expect my that. name's Paul. So I don't mind ever talking to you guys about anything. I'm Tasha uh, the Tyranny Terminator. We may, uh, I'm sorry. Ding. Tasha the Tyranny Terminator. We, we may never agree. Um, you know. Well, well we might. Listen, I mean, but on yeah. a lot of things, we might. Now, believe it or not. You know we have a website, right? And you could go on there and anonymously uh, post uh, anything that you see that you might not want to report in the way of <laughs> police brutality. Yeah. I think and I've you can do it anonymously. Before, so. And I mean, you, you can only submit stuff. Your own well, I'll tell you. You can submit it. stuff. Okay. If you disagree with something that I wrote on there, you can, you're can. you welcome to submit it. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, a rebuttal of it. I, listen, I'm a firm believer, and, you know, you got your beliefs, I got mine, and mm -hmm. we but may not agree. Um, See, the, the thing about it that, that you know, we may not agree, some but, people uh, don't understand is accountability is good for you guys, too. Of course they're shooting. Because and people are shooting be. at cops because cops have been be. shooting at people. Yeah. It's well, not because people have been I, watching I don't, videos. I don't, I don't honestly firmly fully believe that, at least in this city, I don't. Um, I haven't seen that here. So when you say there's a war against cops right now in Las Vegas, I don't think so. Well, okay, the day I haven't before, seen they did, they did release uh, now, and say that again, there was a war on And that Chicago, hyping that Detroit, up and getting and cops places. on edge yeah. is going to like become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, I mean, it could be a problem, right? Yeah. I would agree 100%, right? What do you think is going on in briefings right now? The cops are, the sheriff didn't say right, double up, right? We want everybody mm -hmm. to be safe. We've gone through things, concerns. But, you know, remember, it wasn't that long ago, two of our guys got whacked. Yeah. Right, you know. So, but I mean, see, the problem with that is when you, when you guys are like, "Oh my God, the cops are being killed," 
and cops are going through people's neighborhoods, killing them all the time and harassing them and treating I, I, them. I could see that that people might be a concern. Is, have is, a tendency is, is, not to know, be a are sympathetic. Are the cops going to be on edge now? Do we need to worry that they're going to you know, be quicker to, to trigger because of it? Um, I could see how somebody would think that. Firmly, I believe that no, our officers are trained really, really well, really well. Um, and I don't, I, I don't, some I don't think that. Most of we've I've, had I've, bad apples, right? Everybody well, does. They're, but you they've know, been everywhere. you guys know, the, been everywhere. you know, I've worked with a lot. But you know the origin of that that go. term, right? I've bad, seen a lot coming. You go. know the origin of bad apples, right? I spoil the bunch. Well, that's it's true. not an excuse to leave no, them. Right. I mean, right? You know, if you, if, we, if there's not proper supervision, rampart yeah. divisions, you so know, like, come up and, and, and things. He's just crazy. a bad apple. Isn't a sure. justification to not take action against people. Or to, I didn't you know, quite follow you on that. The 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 phrase is a a bad apple spoils the bunch. Right. So if you leave the bad apple in the barrel, the whole barrel goes bad. It corrupts all of them. I got you. So saying, oh, it's just a bad apple. Well, you know, I, 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 I don't... It should be, I, I that guy's think, a bad I, apple, we got to get him out of there. Well, I think that's been the case. I, I think we've had bad apples, and I think we've gotten rid of quite a few. I mean, I know that we have, right? I know that we have. Which, I worked IA for uh, a long time, too. Can you name I've, one I've cop who's ever been put on trial for murdering somebody? Or even for shoot, I mean, for any yeah, crime. I, I, I can, you know. He, he went to it's prison. The, it's the guy that did the drive-by, yeah. and the feds did that. It wasn't Metro. Uh, Metro, and that's because the right. other guy who actually did the shooting turned him in to get himself well, saved. That, that might be your belief, right? Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, that is belief. my belief, yes. Okay. But it's not because Metro came and tracked it, cracked down on him, it's because he turned the other guy in. Well, and that's you know, one it, example. It, 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 uh, well, you asked for one, you right. know, so okay. yeah, there was so one. So can you say two? Right, there was one. Um, I don't know about Are it. Are you familiar with her, Jesus Aravalo? Who is it? Jesus Aravalo. It might be Eric Ravelo. I'm not sure exactly how to say his name. He's the guy that murdered positive. Stanley Gibson. Okay. Do you know like what happened with him? What? Uh, I know he's not working anymore. Mm -hmm. right? I think he was. I think he was uh, fired from. His in in na job. in. Sorta, he was technically fired. They well, I, I don't think he works for us anymore, so right. I think he did. And I don't think he resigned. I think he, I think he was terminated. Right. Um, I believe. But well, I'm not positive but with that. They they dragged their feet day. until he put in his paperwork for disability a week right. before he got fired. Right. He's collecting thirty thousand dollars a year now in disability. Okay. You know what his disability is? No idea. People were calling him a murderer after okay. he killed Stanley Gibson, and that stressed him out. You see how that might not resonate with the public and Stanley Gibson's family? I, I think uh, he felt it was more his department went against him than it was the public went against him, so to speak. But you don't think, you know, even if, like, so if we boil this down and say it was like negligence, like, he didn't intentionally do it, but okay, he did something that cost somebody their life. Right. You don't think he should be held accountable for that? Um, no, I do. Because if I was working in a kitchen somewhere and I, you know, no, don't start that put, with me. Don't I'm going to start that with you really? because really, cop if I was working, years, what I've seen, what people get sentenced to, if I was working with, in a factory, how much time prison time's really done for some things? Really, don't yeah. start me on I'm that. I'm going to start. My friend. I mean, you, you know what I mean. You can, you no, can, I'll tell you this. You can start too, but this. I'm going to start. Government officials, was, the cops, and everybody else probably do a little bit more time than the average person would. Yeah. Or, or if it's a high profile. So if I was working in a factory, I don't know, and I hit the wrong button. And a guy that was working on the uh, conveyor line got thrown into a machine and died. You think I would just get, they'd just be, okay, you can go. You're no, all right. No. The chicken fat fryer guy or whatever it was, mm -hmm. you know. No. You know. That I guy mean, probably didn't get disability legit. for the rest well, of his know. life. I don't know. You know, is he in prison? I'm I don't not think sure. so. I mean, he's probably not going to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm sure he's, he's not going to have a job there anymore, right? I should hope not. Um, did you want one? <laughs> you know, mistakes happen, whether or not it was a negligent mistake or, you know, and you got to know the specifics of everything. Too, yeah, so. yeah. All right, well, good talking to you guys. Alrighty. I've tried to defuse a little bit there. Thanks for being reasonable, at least having the conversation, unlike some. The accountability is good for everybody. Remember that. Yeah. It's good for you guys, too. What was your name again? Paul. Paul, your officer, Paul. Yeah. You guys um, create fear and hostility in the community. It makes your job harder. Yeah. And more dangerous. All right. You guys take care. You too.